Beneath the surface of Minecraft lies a terrifying place, home to monsters, magic, and from here on out, me. Because for the next month of my life, I'm going to be surviving completely underground on a dangerous Minecraft server. And here's the rules. Rule number one, I have to stay below ground for the entire challenge. Goodbye outside world, I'll see you in a month. Rule number two, find a way to survive and prosper with practically nothing. The only way to go is down. But as I went deeper, my health was only getting lower, and I was beginning to think that this challenge might be impossible oh until wait. wait yes that's a mine shaft okay yes i can actually get wood now this is literally like the one thing i needed and i can finally make some tools now and last but not least rule number three don't die do you see them oh god that's a case better i might die And is this a good time to mention that if I fail this challenge, I have to face a terrible punishment? <gasps> oh, two hearts! Two hearts! This encounter made me realize just how difficult this challenge was going to be. Which is why I'm not doing it alone. Firestar, save me! This is Firestar, and he's going to be joining me for the next month. He may be mostly useless, but at least he has food. With some basic gear required, we can now begin to progress in underground Minecraft. We can make six jukeboxes! But we had a huge problem. We were running out of food, and quickly. But that's when I remembered the two seeds that I brought down at the very beginning of the video. So I began work on an underground farm that I could use to turn those two seeds into a plethora of bread. Why did the slice of bread retire? Cause his career was toast! <laughs> Please kill me. But we were still starving. The farm just wasn't fast enough. So we had to go in search of the one block that could help us. The nether is like below the overworld, so it counts as staying underground. Oh, that's my magma cube. Oh, this, is this is the worst nether spawn I've ever seen in my life. Surviving only on mushroom soup, we spent the next couple hours exploring the nether. But at long last... Yes, we found it! Finally! But before we had a chance to return, Firestar got into a fight with a ghast. And, well... No! I told you he was useless. But I was able to return with the bone blocks, which we could then turn into bone meal and end the famine. It's day three, and while we are surviving, we are certainly not thriving. So I made a little list of goals here that'll ensure that I can prosper and fulfill rule number two. So I want to get some sugarcane and other surface materials in part for another goal of getting a max set of diamond armor. And I also want to build a cool base that has enough farms in it to last me the whole month. And I ran out of space, but I also want to collect every music disc in the game. But for now, let's get some sugarcane. Yo. I made a deal with a player named Wookie, where he would give me surface goods in exchange for a few things. I had to build a massive underground trap for him, and also give him nether war. But of course there was a problem. The only nearby fortress didn't have any nether war, and I really didn't want to go exploring the nether. So I figured that to solve all of my problems, instead of building a trap for them, I would build a trap for them, if you know what I mean. I'm going to kill him, that's what I mean. So I began the construction of the trap. Yeah, turn off, uh, yeah, turn off hunger. Turn How off to hunger. solve world <laughs> hunger. Hunger. Ah! Wookie and his teammate had just found my base, but they still think that the trap is being made for them to use. So as long as I just play it cool, everything should be fine. Yeah, so anyway, uh, welcome to my humble abode. It, it looks good. Thank you. <laughs> Three and then I died because so I was an idiot. What is this? My teammate Firestar had randomly built this roller coaster, and that ended up distracting them and potentially saving my life. But things were going too slowly, and we were falling behind in armor fast. But if we wanted to get good enchantments underground, there's only one place we could go. That's right, pack your bags, kill some blazes, we're going to the stronghold! Well, this way. But as I was nearing the stronghold, I see Wucky on the surface. Wait, you do? So I may have said something in chat about going to the stronghold, and it seemed like Wookie had decided to come as well. Yo, what's up? Yo, hey, Wookie. Hey, 
Yo, what's what's up? So we got we got a different we got a we got a similar idea, huh? Yeah, we did have a similar idea. And we seem to have both both found the stronghold. That's so silly. Listen, I'm guessing you guys don't do you guys have enough pearls to get in? Uh yeah. Oh. No. We we yeah, we we do. Well, I mean, we could do a group, group effort on it. So we didn't plan on fighting the dragon, but we ended up working with Wookiee to get the remaining Eyes of Ender. Alright, let's go. Three, okay. two, one. Oh. One. Yeah! Things were going great, and I was beginning to think that after all of this bonding, maybe I didn't need to trap Wookiee at all. Okay, I'm ready. And... Let's go, let's, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Oh, that did so much damage! Let's, Let's go! go! But then it came to the matter of the dragon egg. With only one in every Minecraft world, whoever had possession of it would be immensely powerful. And greed can drive people to insane places. Okay. Oh, I'm not I have a torch if you don't. Uh... Yeah, I do. oh. Let's go! <laughs> no, 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 oh, he's no. after me, he's after me! Fire star help! <laughs> we have to fight him. Oh, I missed my one bow. My bow and arrow. But while I was on the other side of the island, Wookiee managed to escape into the end portal. So yes, I was able to get the dragon egg and the bookshelves I needed, but the jig was now up. And the most powerful man on the server would be hunting me down. So on day 5, I began the construction of a zombie experience farm. And with the chicken jockeys that spawned, I was able to create a chicken farm purely underground. So I spent the next couple days enchanting my items, and I also kidnapped this random horse. And we began the process of collecting every music disc in Minecraft. And I was beginning to think that maybe peace had finally been found. Until one day, I was AFK and heard this. Last I checked, chickens can't open barrels. So I began to use a glitch that lets me see through walls, and sure enough, there was somebody in our base. What the heck? Why is there water here, bro? I mean, whatever, I guess. Oh, hey, Wookie. Did he create, like, a network of... What the heck is this, bro? Why does it go so deep? I've heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, okay, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing in my face? Genuinely, what are you doing? Okay, okay, why don't you unmute and... Okay, all right, all right. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hey, bro. I just, I just, I just, I just. Okay, we can have a chat. We can have a chat. We can have a chat. Uh, uh, stop running, bro. Wookie. Wookie escaped to the surface, where I couldn't follow without losing the challenge. Kind of like how I've been losing subscribers. Please subscribe, my ego can't take this. And it was only when I came back to my base that I realized that he had stolen all of my music discs. You see, Firestar and I had had a mission to collect every single music disc in the game, and now our entire collection was gone. And so, with a heavy heart, we agreed to trade away the dragon egg for the return of our music disc. Except, we're not actually gonna do it. We're finally going to put into use the trap that I made at the very beginning of the video. But the trade is going to be in one week. So in the meantime, Firestar and I found a sustainable source of wood with the nether trees, managed to cure some zombie villagers, and completely upgraded our base. And so with two of my goals completed, it was now time to execute the plan. Firestar would go up to the surface to do the music disc trade, but right before it's completed, he would spleef Wookie into the trap. But we knew that Wookie had a totem of undying, which is why I would be waiting at the bottom of the trap to finish him off. Literally, what could go wrong? Okay, uh, things are going wrong. Replay mod is what YouTubers use to get third-person shots for videos. But Wookie was using replay mod to scout the area for traps. And if he saw me at the bottom of a trap, our plan would be ruined. And so I went as far away from the trap as I could so as to not arouse suspicion. But just as I was as far as I could possibly be... Firestar had finally activated the trap, but had given me no warning. And so I had to rush over to the trap to fight Wookie and the two teammates that he had brought. They have the egg on them though, they have the egg okay, on them. Okay, I hear him.
Okay, he's like this way. He's like directly below me. I have a faster pickaxe than you, and you know it. Let's go! But right then, at the climax of the battle, I had to go eat dinner. Okay, coming! And by the time I got back, the battle was won. We signed a peace treaty that would ensure the fighting stopped and that our discs were returned, but something was terribly wrong. One of the agreements was that we would return the horse that we stole, whose name was Reggie and belonged to Wookie. The only problem? That horse was dead. Fortunately, Wookie had given us a week to return Reggie, and Firestar found a new horse we could pass off as being the same. And for the rest of the week, we advanced as far as we could in underground Minecraft. Okay, this is every music disc in Minecraft. Wait, wait. Until it was time to meet up with Wookie. Alright, so this is gonna go one of two ways. Either Wookie is completely duped and we get away scot free, or he realizes it's a fake and murders us both. So, yeah, anyway. And this is also day 30, the last day of the challenge. And as I was bringing Reggie to the surface, I took a moment to reflect on my time underground. I realized that having constraints isn't always a bad thing, and it can lead to creating things you never would have thought of otherwise. And I must admit that I never would have survived the whole thing if not for my friend Firestar having my back since day one, proving himself to be anything but useless. Start! I take back everything I just said. This guy is an idiot! And with Wookie on his way to the meeting, we needed a new plan and fast. So I suggested... <laughs> I think we have to go with the donkey plan. In reference to trying to pass off a nearby donkey as Reggie. But what I didn't know was that Wookie had already joined the call. <laughs> hey, Wookie. Hey, Wookie. So why are you trying to scam me? What do you mean? Yeah. You just said we're going to have to go the donkey route the second we're talking about getting back Reggie. A donkey is basically Trout. a horse. No. Yeah, why? No. It was, it, was no. A, it was a joke. You know, we have Reggie. Right. We have... I know you have Reggie. We have Reggie. But you're, you're talking about donkeys. Why are you talking about donkeys? It's it's because Dabby Cat's rebrand... Dabby's rebranding to Dabby Donkey. Seriously? Dabby donkey. So let me paint you a picture here. Firestar is flying around desperately trying to find a horse while Wookie is still en route to the meeting spot. And I'm just sat there rebranding my entire channel to Dabby donkey so Wookie doesn't get too suspicious. Here I am. But Firestar got back just in the nick of time. Yeah, here's, here's, here's oh. your horse. Reggie. Thanks. Reggie. I got Reggie now. I'm happy. And peace was finally restored. This horse seems a little fast. Uh...